Hi, I'm interior designer Christopher Grubb, and I'm in a case study home which epitomizes mid-century modern design. Today I'm going to show you ways to update a modern classic without sacrificing the original design. After World War II is considered the beginning of the mid-century modern period. While the suburbs of America were experiencing explosive growth of cookie-cutter subdivisions, there was a new innovative style that falls within mid-century modern, and it's called post and beam. It's clearly defined because it's a post and a beam in the architecture. What it allowed for is these open living spaces. A signature of the style was there was a lack of distinction between indoor and outdoor living. Previously, there was a wall here with a door in it, and I removed this to add additional glass to open up the space even further and to let in a lot of natural sunlight. One design idea when you have a room where the ceiling may feel a little low is to use low-profile furniture. And for this particular room, it doesn't impede the great view. One significant change you can make in a modern home, or any home for that matter, is addressing the flooring. Here I've used a limestone, which wasn't used in the 50s, but it's really appropriate for today. It's this beautiful, cool gray color, and it's offset by this great texture and warmth of the ceiling, so it creates this really cozy, intimate atmosphere. One thing about materials that are mid-century is they were very sleek, and I think a space needs texture. You'll see here I used a modern version of the classic Noguchi paper lantern, but provides the texture and that decoration that I think the space needs. When considering decorative accessories in a modern home, less can be more. A great example throughout this house is McCoy Ware. What's wonderful about it is monochromatic in color. It comes in various shapes and sizes and various textures on the outside. It pops wonderfully against the dark woods, but there's not a variation in color that's distracting, and it keeps the design philosophy of clean and uncluttered. Mid-century homes were known for having a smaller floor plan, which worked during that time, but doesn't work with today's lifestyle. In this room, this was a garage, and we were able to convert it over. You can tell from the concrete floors that are here. One of the biggest complaints from hosts is that everyone ends up in the kitchen. To solve that, I created this floating bar, which is perfect if it's just you and a couple friends for drinks, or if you're having a full party with a bartender. Thank you for letting me share some ideas on updating your modern design and hopefully you learned a thing or two about post and beam architecture.